Okay, we are here for more Punisher discussion episodes uh, four <laughs> through ten. Quite a lot. Oh, of, yeah. Or uh, maybe is that what we're doing? I'm not sure what exactly is the grouping we're doing. But the last time I did the discussion was for three. I'm not sure what the grouping of these reactions yeah. is going to be. It'll be up to ten, but I'm not sure how many I'm going to do for the first batch. So, mm. I don't know. Um, like, it might be up to resupply, and then this is going to be five through ten, maybe. But either way... Uh, mm -hmm let's discuss some Punisher. You know, we discussed after the first three episodes, and then we decided that, uh, well, I, I decided really that I wanted to just re just react to it and not do a discussion because there wasn't a whole lot to say. Uh, and mm. then, you know, once we got to episode 10, we were like, eh, I might as well do a discussion at this point here, and then we'll do one again at the end of the last three episodes. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, because people have seen my reactions uh, how, how did you feel about these, you know, past chapters? How do you feel about Punisher so far? Uh, I'll, I'll let you take the lead since, you know, people have watched my reactions already. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Punisher is one of those shows where it takes me a while to watch each episode. Like, it's, uh, as I said in the episode three discussion, it's just not the kind of show I would usually watch. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, like... It's not the darkness necessarily. It's just sort of the type of darkness. It is the big, uh, like you know, back from the war, very like hyper masculine, very like all all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's also like whether this was a comic or a show or whatever. Like, it's not really the medium either. That it's just like the kind of story it's telling is. Uh, one, not something I really want to watch, and two is not entertaining enough or like uh not even like shocking enough to like you know mm. warrant that i think yeah and the the medium does play a part for me in that like yeah you know, in the comics punisher is kind of hit or miss for me i like him a lot when it's not a punisher thing but it's like a different arc or an event or something and then he gets a spinoff or he like comes in mm -hmm. and like, for the stuff that I have read that's all Punisher, like, just by virtue of it being a comic, like, if there's, like, something like the uh, FBI plot here, which I haven't really seen, to be fair, but if it's something that's, you know, kind of dry or kind of, like, dark in a way I'm not super vibing with, because it is, like, you know, a sequential art medium, I can, you know, read it faster. Whereas, yeah. by virtue of this being a TV show, like, it really makes you sit with it. That is true. Maybe more than... Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're, you're like, forced into the pace that it wants you to be, rather than reading it at your own pace. Mm-hmm. It, it can be a strength and the weakness, and I feel like for, like, up to the point we're at right now, I feel like a lot of the episodes have not been paced the way I would want them to be paced. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they feel very, like, very drawn out, very, like, you know, breathe, like, there's time to breathe, and then there's, you know, you're breathing too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can hear these gasps. Yeah, like, there is, you know, we talked about it back in episode one of, like, you know, should, do you think, like, even when we just finished episode one, do you think they should have made episode one and mm -hmm. two, two episodes? And we watched episode two, and we're like, yeah, there's no way they could have made this two episodes. And even then, still, episode one was so self-contained. But it's mm -hmm. crazy that we talked about how badly paced episode one was, and episode one is probably the best paced episode of the entire series except for maybe episode 10 and episode 10 is just barely better and even then i'm not sure if i even want to say that it's better it's it's on the same level at least of good, yeah. not as bad i don't even want to say good not as badly paced <laughs> yeah episode 10 has at the very least a clear idea behind the whole episode mm -hmm. it is like you know you're sitting down and you're getting a whole story in the episode whereas most of the others don't really give me that feeling even if there is like you know a plot line for that episode i still feel like it's very wishy-washy about it it's very like you know some of the stuff is just gonna happen yeah. like we're not doing a specific thematic thing this episode or we're not like hammering this one thing home really 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 hard we're just kind of you know doing it a bit but it's also something that's gonna be tackled in the next episode or it was already done a bit in the previous episode all the other seasons felt like there was people who were like, yeah, these are my favorite characters. Like, whether that be Iron Fist or Daredevil or Luke Cage or Jessica Jones, it felt like there was always, mm -hmm. you know, some people on the team who were like, I have read a ton of Iron Fist comics. I want to do this justice. I've read a ton of Daredevil. I want to do this justice. I mean, Daredevil's a whole separate thing entirely. But for oh, Jessica yeah. Jones and Luke Cage and all that, you know, there's clear love behind all that where Punisher really just feels like they're doing it because they need to do it. 
Like it just feels yeah. so much like the we set Punisher up. We got to do a Punisher season. Does anybody want to do a Punisher season? And everybody else like, well, I, I like Punisher, but I'd rather do Daredevil. I like Punisher, but I'd rather do it. Like there's, it doesn't feel like anybody <laughs> has like that like full like there's. It doesn't feel like that love in this season towards the character. Mm-hmm. It just kind of feels like we're doing a thing. And, like, you know, if anything, it feels like there's some person who's like, yeah, I really love D- Dina. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love Madati, but. <laughs> yeah, like, she gets way more interiority than even, like, you know, Billy. Like, I'd say, you know, Frank and Micro are pretty decent, but even that feels more like, like, to me, the actors are really trying to do it hard. But it doesn't really <laughs> feel to me like the the writers are like we wrote this in a way where we have a lot of passion for this character and then we want you to bring it to life if yeah if there's one person in the entire like team that was working on the punisher who cares the most about the punisher it is john berthenol like absolutely <laughs> he's the number one he's just like yeah i can tell he really likes this but the, the, everybody yeah. else behind the scenes doesn't feel like they're as into it mm-hmm and, and yeah, it's a it's a weird situation in that like I fully you know I, I fully get it I fully believe that you know if they do anything in you know the net or sorry the uh, Disney Plus shows where they bring back the Punisher yeah I would love John to come back but I don't want like this continuity yeah yeah I, I think that's like I am on the exact opposite of like do I want to see Daredevil in the MCU Prime yeah do I want to see him as Charlie Cox. Yeah, am I way more upset that that means that we're not getting the Netflix stuff? 100%. I would have much mm-hmm. rather never had Daredevil in the MCU Prime if it meant we could still have the Netflix stuff. Uh, right. Whereas the Punisher, I would absolutely love to see John Berthenol as the Punisher in the MCU Prime. And if that means that this is not canon, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, not that's that a really good way of putting it. I, it's not that I'm like, oh, please make this all not canon, but it's still just like, I, I wouldn't, I don't care, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, no, the thing we talked about way back in episode one, episode ten, still as prevalent out of all the Netflix series. Why is this the one with the least amount of blood, the least amount of gore? I don't mm. understand. <laughs> Why would you do a Punisher series where barely anybody dies and there's no blood and there's no punishing? <laughs> the the lack of punishing is so weird like we're now 10 episodes into the series the vast majority of the characters that i've wanted to see dead have not been killed by the punisher mm-hmm. like that's so wild <laughs> to do i don't know yeah it's so weird but uh mm-hmm. and yeah like i'm not that excited for him to go after Agent Orange or Billy or anything like that. It's just like, I that's who our main villains are. Do I care yeah. that those are our main villains? Not in the slightest. Yeah, there's an element of, like, pure black and white that, like, I, I believe that, you know, in te- you know, internally the Punisher is seeing this, but we're not getting it. Like, we're not getting the hard, like, these people are the absolute worst, and the Punisher fully believes this, and we want to see these people, you know, absolutely die and suffer. Like, I I want that because they're bad people, but I'm not getting it from the show as a, like, you're going to get the big catharsis. Look at how fucked up these people are. Nor do I even think that the Punisher is going to kill Billy. Mm. I don't know why I have the feeling that he's not. And that's, again, like you said, he's going to carry over into another season. Well, I think yeah. I think you said that off camera, but. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I have the sneaking suspicion that Billy is not going to die and is going to carry over to season two. Or if he does die in this season, it's not going to be Frank. Ah. Uh, yeah, I can feel that for sure. And I, I, I don't understand what the thought process would be behind it. Like, I get, you know, wanting to have a voice who's like, oh, man, Frank, you're, what you're doing is real fucked up. But, like, we have that with Karen. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, like, that's fine to me. Like, that, you know, uh, that's, that would be her character in this uh, situation. But I don't get why Frank himself is constantly doing the, like, oh, I'm not going to kill this person. Or I'm talking about killing this person. But, like, I, you, know, you, you don't feel his vitriol. You don't feel his desire to punish. Yeah. Like, yeah, he does not feel at all like the same character that we got in Daredevil, and I can't get over that. Like, mm-hmm. And, again, at the end of the day, every episode has five minutes of some really good shit. 
mm-hmm. uh, and, and like that's not enough you know like yeah. when i look back on the season i'm gonna remember the like five minutes from every episode that i really liked and i'm gonna go like oh was that season so bad but having to watch every <laughs> fucking episode yes it is so bad it's five minutes out of fucking 50 yeah and half the time five minutes is an exaggeration in all honesty <laughs> like there's some shots it is like if in daredevil the only good parts of daredevil were like the long shots where he's doing really cool like fight stuff like, that's what i feel like in punisher mm-hmm. it feels like i'm just waiting for those moments in punisher like where frank does the yeah. cool thing for the episode you know the one cool thing he does an episode and then that's i got <laughs> that and it's like okay well the and to be fair almost every time 99 of the time it's the last five minutes of the episode <laughs> Yeah. You might as well just... If I want to rewatch Punisher, I will just always skip to the last five minutes. <laughs> there is no point that, watching the rest. And that really does, like, defeat the purpose of making it a TV show. Like, you know, the, the strength of a movie is that, like, yeah, you don't have enough time to flesh out the characters, but you want to balance it out by doing the really cool shit. Like, the shit you can't get, like, a TV budget for. Mm-hmm. And you squeeze it in, and then you, you know, you try to make it work. There are upsides and downsides. But, like, I'm not really seeing the upsides of this being a TV show for any character except arguably, like, I, I, I'm enjoying, you know, some of Micro's turmoil. Yeah, I like But Micro. that's about it. Yeah, like, that's the only thing where it's like, you know, we have this long simmering where, you know, we can really see how he feels about his, you know, his family and we can, you know, cut to his family and see how they're doing. Like, that stuff is really, really doing it for me. But anything to do I don't know with if it's really, the really Punishers, doing it for me. Like, I like it, but I just want to say, like, it's not like, it's not really, really doing it for me, but I do like it. But, okay. Yeah, I just want to. Yeah, totally understands. But yeah, like, I'm not really getting that from anyone else. Even the characters were like, clearly that is supposed to be a thing. Like, we are supposed to be getting more and more into uh, Madani's, like, you know, mindset. And we're supposed to, like, you know, care about her more and more and more as we've gotten, like, so much of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and, I mean, they have not in any way... Like, she has had way more screen time than Misty Knight has had in two seasons total. And I still mm. do not give a fuck about her at all. I mean, they've only made me hate her more and more. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, like, even, like, Sam. At, Sam was probably the most stomachable one. And then at the end, he has to go, like, Oh, I'm so horny for murder right now, <laughs> right before they kill him. And it's like, <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> It's a weird, that's a weird swerve. That's a real, like, was this supposed to make us like him more right before he died? I think it was supposed to make us like Bill, or like, feel like, you know, we, we didn't care as much that Billy killed him. Like, I think hmm. it was supposed to be like, the Billy's going to last another season, so let's not make everybody love this character and then have Billy kill them and then everybody hates Billy. Let's sneak in this little shittiness right at the end so that people can go, ah, well, <laughs> I guess Billy was a little bit justified. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the point of it is. I mean, I'm, I was guessing what the I don't know what the fuck the point is. I don't know what the point of doing half the shit they do in this series is. I don't know why they continuously almost every episode make Frank to be just worse and worse and worse, and then uh, you know hmm. it's again it'd be one thing to be making him worse and worse and worse, but being like yeah, but he is the Punisher. This is his lot in life. He's doing the punishing. But when that's not hmm. the case, it's just like Frank's a shitty person. Okay, but yeah. what are you? Uh, <laughs> why are you telling me this? It's not. It's making me just not want to watch the show. I don't understand what the mm-hmm. point of this is. <sighs> and they're not leading towards a like, you know. It doesn't feel like by the end of this, Frank's gonna be the Punisher. It feels like by the end of this, Frank's going to <laughs> go work a day job. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, that, that's very strange. Like also just the fact that like he's so not laser focused. Like he, there is a clear thing he is doing, but also we're not really getting this vibe of like he is like obsessed with it or he's constantly moving forward on this or you know like he's like losing his mind while Micro has to you know find the connections and then he can finally do it. It's like he seems pretty chill a lot of the time. Yeah. And, like, that's not what I want from a Punisher in, you know, the situation he has been up to this point. Where, like, you know, he's presumed dead. He's on the, you know, he's on the run. He's trying to do this very, like, you know, finding the actual culprits so that he can, like, properly punish them. 
I mean, this whole season is the episode of Defenders where they're just in the warehouse and they're like, we can't leave because the hand's <laughs> out there and oh, what's going to blah, 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 and everybody's fighting amongst each other and tying up each other. Blah, blah. And it's like, that was one episode of the Defenders and that's like one episode of almost every one of these TV shows, but that's the <laughs> whole season for Defenders. Like, this whole season is a bottle season. Like, it's not a bottle episode, it's a bottle season. <laughs> and it's so fucking boring. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, I, it's, it's boggling. This is the one that I was looking the most forward to. I want to find the good so much because I want to <laughs> say the Punisher is still a good character and I like him, but I just cannot. <laughs> it's so fucking boring. How do you make the Punisher yeah. TV show boring? Like it's the most it's it's the most simple premise. It's the kind of situation where I I I really did think we were going to get a few scenes of like, you know, we do like a side plot where Frank finds like you know some gangsters or some like you know people moving weapons, and so he's like, okay, uh, hey, can you take down the cameras here so I can go in and kill everyone and you know take yeah. the stuff or whatever. Like it's so simple to do a like one episode plot of like. Frank finds out about this bad thing. He goes in. He gets rid of the bad people. He saves the good people. They're scared of him or something. He has to run off. Mm -hmm. I mean, every other season's Netflix stuff has had multiple plot lines going on with, you know, characters that are not all tied to the exact same thing, you know? It doesn't all need to yeah. be tied to one thing. Uh, like, Jessica Jones has the whole I don't remember the company's name but they have the whole company thing going on at the same time as Kilgrave at the same time as Nuke mm -hmm. and then we have you know Luke Cage all the shit going on with Mariah and then Shades and then Cottonmouth and on top of that we have Diamondback coming in and everything. like there's there's mm -hmm. so many different plot lines that are happening that you're not getting bored of because like one plot line's not going to last you 13 whole fucking episodes clearly it's not this yeah. whole season should not be 13 episodes yeah, and it's also, like, that's the big reason why I think that uh, Billy's going to have to survive, because, there's nothing like, with else. all the others, there's a clear, like, yeah, with everything else, there's a clear, like, we're simmering some stuff in the background, we're going to touch this in another thing, or we're going to touch this in maybe the Defenders, but with this, it's a real, like, well, they, you know, there's no way Frank's going to beat everyone, because then they're not going to have anything for Season 2, and, I mean, I sure hope Season 2 doesn't start with, all right, we have nothing <laughs> and now we're gonna spend the entire season building up something for the punisher to do yeah like but i don't know one, maybe they'll do that the one like side plot we had in this was lewis like being the bomber and everything like that but that wasn't <laughs> even like that much of a side plot it was still so tied in with everything else but it's the most disconnected from the rest of it but it's still tied into <laughs> it but even then it, again it's such a tiny little thing they touched on barely ever <laughs> in each episode um yeah so, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, this is, it's, 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 it's <laughs> so it can't <laughs> be 13 episodes. This plot line is not strong mm. enough for that. This plot line is strong enough for <laughs> maybe six episodes at that. Or 13 episodes if you're yeah. doing other shit in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you shorten up some of these episodes. Like, if this was 13 episodes, but they, you know, didn't put in all this like stuff that I can only say is filler when I'm like consuming it. So, oh, 100%. The FBI it stuff makes up is fully minutes. filler. Like filler, I I hate when people use the word filler like, you know, in a way that just means like something mm -hmm. I didn't like, you know. Filler is mm -hmm. Uh, you know, e either non-canon material, like uh, you're adapting something that, you know, didn't happen in the source <laughs> material, which, you know, for live action stuff, that means that almost all of it's filler. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, that's way more of a thing with anime. But for what I mean with this yeah. is, and what I would also consider filler, is to be, you know, uh, saying something twice, doing something twice, reiterating something uh, again. Like, that's filler. You're just filling mm -hmm. in time with something we already know. And that's what all the FBI plots are. You're just filling in yeah. time in this episode with something that either A, we already know, or B, we're going to get anyway with Frank and everybody else later in the episode. Yeah. Like, the only time we get n information that is important in the FBI stuff that then we don't get with the other characters that we wouldn't know why it's happening uh, is the Agent Orange stuff, which isn't mm -hmm. even, you know, that that's a whole level above that. 
you know that and that's you know that's that's our main villain of the entire series and that's a whole separate thing entirely i don't think you can put that on yeah. the same level versus like all the stuff with uh uh sam and i just said her name um madani uh madani yeah uh, like all the stuff with them two specifically is we get all that information through other sources so why are we getting it through them Hmm. Yeah, that kind of thing really only works in the series if they're going to be constantly, like, intervening and, like, you know, like, if there's some reason why then impacts the plot in a new way. Like, as much as I, you know, didn't care for the cop stuff in uh, Luke Cage that much, like, Luke Cage at the very least had the cop stuff be a clear, like, and, you know, now they're going to go after Luke, or Mm -hmm. this is, like, you know, like, social commentary stuff, and then the effects of that are going to affect Luke, and then other people are going to, like, react to that. Like, it was very, very tied in in that you know in that way yeah yeah it created problems in what he was trying to do whereas like not really the case (laughs) with frank you know it's almost always he's having the one up on them so like yeah we don't need it from them because frank is the scary one here yeah like it it really got me in episode 10 where uh frank and micro are like on the roof looking at madani in the the bed and they're like yeah well i guess she's not doing anything (laughs) Like, you could do that in any episode with them looking at her, and you could have the same reaction of, yeah, she's not doing anything, we don't have to worry about her. Yeah, I also just like the fact that they have everything, like, tracked and audioed and everything like that, and it's just like, yeah, you you know, w- w- if we need any information, we got it through them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and again, like, the only time where they have information that, uh, like is pertinent to the episode we get that also through agent orange so again it doesn't need to be through them it's either be frank or through agent orange doesn't matter <laughs> like truly there's no reason why it couldn't have just been agent orange listens in to these plans uh you know and like does all the shit normally but it doesn't have to be characters we know it could just be random people in the csi that he's listening to like it doesn't need yeah. to have eight episodes of setup for us to know like oh agent orange is listening to these two it's like i don't give a shit I don't care. Right. Like, you need an investigator-type character when you, we're not actually getting to see what the villains are doing or what they're thinking or what they know about. hmm Or alternatively, if, uh, like, if the heroes don't really know what's going on. But because we have Micro, like, Micro is the ultimate. You don't need to really have other characters do exposition or go over other stuff because you could always just have him either look it up or, be, you know, be telling it to Frank as exposition. And Micro is already the character who is the, though we need to do this by the system, Frank. And so, like, we don't need, you know, five characters in the show that are, Frank, we need to <laughs> arrest him, Frank, we need to arrest him. Like, this is Punisher. I don't want every funky character in this series to just yeah. be like, holy shit. I mean, I can't get over it. The, the most I can always say is just like, <laughs> this is Punisher. Why are you doing this in Punisher for everything I don't like? Like, this is just, <laughs> why, why, why? Yeah, it really does boil to that down to that, doesn't it? It's like it's the easy slam dunk concept for a series, and they refuse to do it. Everything is being done in the most tortured, like difficult to do it way. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, I I understand now why I have I've been super excited for Punisher, but nobody has said a fucking peep about Punisher. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about Punisher. More people are excited for me to watch Jessica Jones Season 2 than they were for me to watch Punisher. And all I know about Jessica Jones Season 2 is most people think it's not that great compared to the first season. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, like, I... <laughs> I can see oh, now boy. why it's not talked about that much. And I can also, to be fair, yeah. see why a lot of people have actually seen Punisher without seeing any of the other Netflix stuff. But to be fair, also, a lot yeah. of people have seen the Daredevil stuff without seeing any of the other Netflix stuff. Like, it seems like people won't give a shit about how interconnected this stuff is. <laughs> it's wild, because yeah. this stuff's more interconnected than the movies and everything, but people are like, no, I gotta watch the movies in order, but the Netflix stuff. <laughs> You can just do anything. You can just watch Defenders by itself. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <sighs> but yeah, I, I'm not sure what else to say about this whole discussion, man. It's just been... Mm-hmm. it's just been disappointing <laughs> it's just been yeah. and like we have three episodes left and I don't know how we're going to do three more whole episodes because it should end in ten minutes I, I will say like in a uh, universe slash writing sense uh, 
like the fact that uh, Punisher is so disconnected from everything else. Like, you know, there's a connection or two, but more or less, it's very standalone. It, it really does give me opposite vibes to Defenders, where like we both went into it thinking like uh, this might you know be kind of disconnected because they wouldn't want they wouldn't assume that everyone's gonna watch this thing and then watch all the other shows. Mm -hmm. And no, it was very deeply connected. It was the most like we believe that everyone should watch this, and we are going to like presumably have all the other series touch on what the characters did in this one. Whereas with yeah. uh, with Punisher, I'd be very surprised if we finish the season and there's a clear, like, here's something that will definitely come up in Daredevil or here's something that will really, really come up in Jessica Jones. It feels like they're really, really... I, I don't know why they're making Punisher because it has the dual vibes of we don't believe in this and also we, we don't know what to do with this. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for John Berthenol, honestly, because he is mm. an incredible, unbelievable Punisher. He is so fucking perfect at it, and the fact that yeah. this is what we got is depressing as hell. Like, mm -hmm. my god, man. I I just can't get over how excited I was for this for months and months mm -hmm. and months, and then we get to this, and it's like, oh, you want a Punisher? Go fuck yourself. Here's CSI. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope he gets to do a more Punisher Punisher in the future. I wish that every person who made this show instead just made a CSI show. Just make CSI <laughs> MCU and then let this be Punisher. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 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 I, 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 like, now that I'm realizing, I think that is what this is. Like, they, they really wanted to do a CSI MCU show. Mm. In the same way, like, that's kind of what, you know, they really wanted to do with, like, early uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. before like, that really changed into what it was. But, like, right. you know, the idea of doing an MCU, uh, so, like, what's the what's the word for that kind of show? What's the genre? Like, uh, procedural? Yeah, procedural. Like, that is way more what this feels like. You know, like, well, our, our S.H.I.E.L.D. failed at being our MCU procedural, so maybe this could be our MCU procedural. Uh, no, that also fucked up. How about we just don't <laughs> do it? Yeah. Maybe we just need to leave that on the table. Mm -hmm. Like, we already get plenty of that in Daredevil and Iron Fist, between the two of them, you know, being a lawyer mm. or, you know, at the company that deals with shit like that, too. Like, we have plenty of, not procedural stuff, but close to that. <laughs> anyway is there anything else you want to say <laughs> uh no not really honestly <laughs> yeah yeah like i don't want to go deep into like you know the character stuff and whatnot because eh not super into it i really like what they did with lewis that was a nice character mm. i mean in how it ended you know is really the only way it probably could have ended but i liked what they did with it but they could have done a lot more <laughs> Yeah, like, the, the whole concept of, you know, someone, you know, like, a veteran getting, being radicalized and, like, doing all this shit, and also especially the fact that, you know, the part of his early radicalization is from someone who is absolutely just full of bullshit and mm -hmm. just going to, a, you know, to a place where uh, veterans are supposed to be, you know, talking through their grief, and he's just sitting there going, like, yeah, fuck you guys. It's awesome. I love the war. I wasn't, I wasn't in a war, but I sure do love it. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it is a very, like interesting plot line but it's probably not something i'm going to think about you know ever mm -hmm. just because like it's spaced out so much across the whole series that like it's yeah. not that impactful uh even if i do i do think it's very very you know engaging and everything like that but uh mm -hmm. and like the scenes we do get with it are some of the best scenes in punisher but they're so few and far in between it's the same with the frank stuff like i'm i hope that when this is all over i remember some of the cool frank shit but it's hard for me to even remember. Like, what's the cool fucking thing Frank did in episode two? I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would help if they had, like, tighter, clearer arcs. Like, if the Lewis stuff was a clear, like, we're going to, like, cut out some of the uh, CSI stuff, or CIA stuff, rather, and we're going to focus, like, way more on Lewis's deal. Because that is way more engaging. But then when we have to cut to, like, you know, Billy and Madani having sex, it's like, <laughs> well, what is this thematically doing with in the same episode as this other stuff? Yeah. Uh, the, the Billy and Madani having sex felt like the most 
I am just watching CSI right now. <laughs> like, the, like <laughs> all the other Netflix shows have had sex in it and everything like that, and like they're very directed very well, and you know, very an interesting scene because you know the sex matters to the characters and everything like that whereas this just felt like mm-hmm. it was just going on and on and on and it was <laughs> such a boring shot and it's just like what what is the point of this if not just the director being like i just want to see two people have sex that's it mm-hmm. that's my only reason <laughs> yeah like the sex itself didn't really feel that intimate and then when billy and madonna you know have guns to each other I don't really get that sense of, like, one of them is, you know, going to hesitate, or, like, you know, Madani's, in, you know, like, thought process is being, you know, influenced by the fact that she cares about this person. Yeah. Like, they don't seem to care about each other, which is what I assumed that we were getting all of that for, in, you know, on some level, mm-hmm. even if it is, like, you know, one way. But, yeah, I don't feel like they have any feelings towards each other whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Like, especially Madonna. And Madonna feels the one with the really trying to feel like we're supposed to feel like, oh, I wonder if she has actual feelings for him, which I do not get if we're supposed to feel that way at all. Because, like, it does. It feels like to me she would shoot him in a second. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. The, yeah, the whole Billy Madonna <laughs> thing, I absolutely fucking could not give a shit about. Mm hmm. Yeah. Weird character dynamics. Mm-hmm. That's it for this discussion. I'll see you guys <laughs> for the final three episodes. Oh, till then. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what? That was so oh, no. mean. Why did oh, I say that? No. <laughs> Be nice to them. I'm <laughs> sorry. Just to get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> why did I say that? That was so all the go. I don't know why I said that. <laughs>